Let them free. Let them free. I moved to Romania 10 years ago, and I found an amazing country full of beautiful people. And I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human trap. I've been nice. I've been patient, I've played the game, I've respected the judiciary, I've gone to every appointment on time, but they bust in my house again, and now I've come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense? 30 say we've done absolutely nothing wrong, two, uh, two more are the mothers of our children, and two more have never even been to Romania, have never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup, it's absolutely disgusting, Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Okay. And also, one more thing, the media is complicit. All of you are. When they first threw us in jail, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup, it's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at DCOP in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. This is a fucking setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. quiet. I'm not talking to you, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. This, this is a setup. It is done on purpose, and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people and three idiots, a decal, have fucked everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you with fucking money laundering. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Act like we ain't see this shit coming. Um, I don't know why, I don't know when, I don't know how, but but clearly Andrew Tate is locked up again. <laughs> like we didn't see this shit coming, bro. Like I said, I don't know nothing about the uh get up to speed right now with y'all, man. Um we up on Philip DeFranco's channel. About to cover some news. Also seen that um I've been preach or covering as well. We're gonna tap into that. Um be yeah, actually doing a little homework, doing a little research, right? Let's get it. Uh, Andrew Tate raided over trafficking minors allegations. So we're still on that, right? All right, let's do it. Let's jump into it. And then, while it might sound familiar, this is not old news, this is new news. Romanian police have just conducted fresh raids on Andrew Tate's house. And according to Romania's anti-organized crime agency, these raids were a part of the investigations into allegations against the Tate brothers, which included those of human trafficking, the trafficking of minors, sexual intercourse with a minor, influencing statements, and money laundering. With there reportedly being dozens of officers searching Tate's property at the edge of Bucharest, and the agency saying that hearings will be held later on at their headquarters. And this is you had Team Tate confirming the raid, with their spokesperson saying, although the allegations in the search warrant are not yet fully clarified, they include suspicions of human trafficking and money laundering. The brothers' legal team is present to ensure that all formalities are carried out correctly. And while that statement didn't address the bit about minors, Tate himself, on the other hand, did, saying on X, the quote, minor they are talking about is 24 years old, but because she first followed me years ago when she was 17, they say I intended to traffic her, even though I literally did nothing to her and we've been friends for years. Matrix attack. And in an apparent response to the raid, he said the Matrix is real and they have a tried and true playbook. Slander is their number one tool and the process is the punishment. But saying, unfortunately for them, good always wins in the end. And adding, nine hours into the house search and an armed police officer looks at me apologetically and shrugs his shoulders. He said, quote, you've made somebody very angry. But with all this, I'll say there's not a lot of information available right now, so we're gonna have to keep our eyes on this. Yeah, they not really giving us much to go off on this one, man. Um, yeah, you know, let, let's see what the hell. Alvin Preach got to say. I kind of wanted to get a different perspective on the coverage, man. Self snitching. Andrew Tate admits to sleeping with minors, gets new charges. But <laughs> let's do it, Alvin.
Uh, the Tates? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they back in jail. They back in jail. Only for 24 hours. <laughs> but what's really important is they're being charged Are with they? new additional stuff. So, and you know what? We told you guys this was going to happen. No, no. Yes. You said it. With these kinds of investigations, I think people expect charges to be instantaneous, but that's just not the way police investigations work, mm -hmm. especially not ones on this governmental scale. Mm -hmm. Even look at the FBI. The FBI builds a case for four or five years before they charge someone. True. And when they charge you, best believe they bring the whole fucking roof down. That's why generally governmental charges from like big organizations like the FBI or things like that always stick. is because they've done a lot of investigating. They've pulled on every thread. And what ends up happening generally with a lot of like criminal organizations, which is what they're alleging criminal... Andrew Tate is part of, is that when they pull on one thread, all of a sudden they start finding different threads, and they find like, oh, organized crime, money laundering, tax evasion, tri tri whatever it might be, and so that's why irrespective of how you feel about the investigation, when these things take a long time for charges to be laid, it's not because they don't have a case. That's why they always say here in the States specifically, it's like they bring a RICO charge against you, it's already over because they already got everything they need. They got snitches, they got wiretaps, they got bank transfers, they got phone records, right? They generally do the things the same way. When they run into RICO on you boys, okay? When they're trying to take out a criminal organization, the process is slow. It is slow and long. But they gonna get your ass when they run a recall on your ass. You said that like they was running a train. Huh? The, it feels like it, it feels like because they it. running over 20, 30 people. So if you're unaware, Andrew Tate, all right, everyone's favorite sex offender, uh, is facing a tremendous amount of jail time. That's what he is, man. You have to remember. I'm not saying he's guilty because they found him guilty. I'm saying he's guilty because he, he self snitched. Said it. He said it. I think the one that really matters to people is the fact that they're being alleged to have trafficked underage people. Don't ask me, just watch them talk. Two girls have claimed Andrew Tate approached them on social media when they still attended school. PhD is a pimp and hose degree. So the recruitment process is you message them on Instagram, I was contacted by Andrew Tate, the older of the Tate brothers, three years ago when I was just 16. Daria was 16 when she says she received a private message on Instagram two years ago from Andrew Tate's account. It read simply, Romanian girl, followed by a strawberry emoji. What do you inbox the woman? I live in Bucharest, Romania. That doesn't matter if I'm in London, Bucharest, Moscow, anywhere I am. I just say, Bucharest, question mark or a Moscow question mark, or London question mark. Sometimes, because like I said, intrigue, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Some cherries, bro, or orange, this boy or strawberry. Abba, this boy have, Abba is a damn private investigator, bro. <laughs> Do you put these together? There's no way. This should take some time. <laughs> this should take some time, dog. Bro, you do. I mean, nah, you ain't doing the wrong job, bro. You getting the lit, you getting the bag, doing these videos, bro. But good grief, this is excellent journalism, dog. <laughs> this is excellent investigations, fam. Passed around to my other friends and my classmates, who were also 15, 16 at the time, and a couple of them also told me they received messages. So I messaged her. She's like, "I'm only 16." I was like, "Give a fuck. Not about me." It was a pretty well-known fact that he had kind of a network of young girls. I mean, it's like, what the fuck would I read for you? If you've got a fit sister who's 16, maybe. Muslims have the best frame on earth. I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's yeah. what I want. You know you said it looks like I'm in a teenage girl's bedroom? Yeah. To, to some people, that would be an insult. But to me, I find that quite flattering, to be honest. You know, like, that's exactly what you'd expect. Like. I'm fucking all these 15 year old. You know who one of the guys was? That was Candace Owens' husband. You know how Candace Owens always defended this guy? Yeah. It's because her husband's really good friends with this dude. Oh. So she's talking about he's such a good man. Yo, if they weren't buddy-buddy or part of the same fucking scam, these people would never associate with a dude like this who's a self-proclaimed pip, loves to bang 15, 14-year-old, 16. They don't care. Bro, that's when I see a conservative and they defend Andrew Tate, I know they have no principles or values. Because literally his whole life has been the antithesis of any kind of conservative traditional mm -hmm. value. Dudes out here pimping girls, defrauding men, basically... He self admits too. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. You guy, feel bad or no? Fuck no. To give a solitary. F I don't care. I used to take lonely men and take hundreds of thousands for them through my webcam yeah. business, and like I enjoyed it because like give me your money, your piece. Of what kind of moral person does that? But I've got my main, my bottom, Vivian. 
So, Vivian here. Yeah, that's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long-term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved her to England to be with me to start doing my webcam company. So Vivian's been with me six years. So he's been with Vivian for six years, right? Because Vivian's younger. Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been her girlfriend for six years. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. From 10 years ago, 10 years ago. I didn't say the word list. Did I say listen? Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex-boyfriend Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend. What you guys saw on the video is just what we used to do. It was just pure game. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex girlfriends. God damn, bro. <laughs> man, I wasn't even I, I wasn't even here for this shit, man. I just want to see why he locked back up, bro. Man. Uh they need to put Abba on the um prosecuting team, bro. They need to put Abba on the prosecuting team. <laughs> Good googly moogly, bruh. Abba does not be playing with him, man. Good grief, Abba. I said Abba. Good grief, Abba. It's like, ah, ah. You can't clean that up. It's like, we ain't even talking about what he was doing. Y'all can sit here and act like they were just playing around or he, he could have really been beating her ass or he or they could have just been playing around, right? That was the initial allure, attraction to this video footage, dog. Age. I, I wasn't even when did the goddamn age, bro. That, that, that flips the whole, that, that, that shifts the whole conversation, bro. That was 2022. She 20. She's 26. That means she. That means Shotty was 14, bro. Whew. <laughs> bro, in the most, the most, the most terrible thing about this dog is that, regardless of how motherfuckers feel about Andrew Tate. You're going to have his supporters somehow coming up with a way to support it, to defend it. That's the sad part, bro. Like, you know, I could give two fucks about Andrew Tate. I've covered this motherfucker plenty of times, agreeing with, agreeing with a lot of the shit he say and disagreeing a lot of the shit he say, right? But that's the sad part about it. You know what I mean? Like, you can fuck with the messenger, not fuck with the messenger. And he seems to be like changing, uh, you know, changing face now, rightfully so, because he got this whole investigation following his ass. But um, good grief, bro. Good grief. You got countless sound bites of this motherfucker talking about being with the little girls. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, it's crazy work. And say the word, listen. Did I say listen? Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex-boyfriend Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend, what you guys saw on the video is just what we used to do, it was just pure game. He's a great guy, he would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. Look at the camera, listen, look at the camera, why are you getting hit? Oh, somebody else made that video, you do I thought that was, I thought that was... I was doing that. Somebody else made that video. That's crazy. Listen, look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? You do the math. I don't wanna. You do the math. I don't wanna. She was basically 14, 15 when they got into a relationship. That means yeah. when did he start talking to her? When she was 14. Or earlier. Depending on how long that shit took. Think about that. Think about this. Coconuts and Barbados. You know, so far, the, we haven't said what we thought. We didn't say what we thought. We didn't say nothing about that. I didn't say it. He didn't say it. We just gave you facts. 
not facts are coming out from us, but facts are coming from them. Just based on the facts. If you still defend him, I mean, these guys will defend if, him. Sorry, go ahead. If Take you him. still defend him, you're a whole ass creep. You're as bad as him to me. If After seeing this, you're like, well, well, there's something bro. really wrong with you. Brainwashing is hell of a drug, dog. If anything, it just it just highlights just how fucked up men are today, right? When you've idolized a man for the most toxic of reasons and for the most positive of reasons, bro. Because even when, well, I don't know, I wasn't I wasn't aware of Tate when he was doing all this decrepit shit, man. I was kind of aware of him after the after that, but he was still, you know, out here promoting these. He's still out here saying, you know, shit to get the views, right? Um, but it just shows you how fucked up, how fucked up of a spot men are, where they're try to defend behavior like this because of their attraction to someone. It just shows you the drought we have in like real role models for men. It's fucked up, bro. <laughs> it's fucked up, dog. Like the the Tate shit is one thing, bro, but just the uh, the the reach that motherfucker got. People about to fall on the sword for this motherfucker, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy work, man. What were you saying? These guys all, the, the, the type of people who defend him are anti-establishment. You know, they, they, they want to stop the They have a problem with Epstein and all this stuff. I'm like, what did Epstein do? Well, I mean, he had a whole organization about trafficking and... Getting young, girls getting young girls and putting and them on having, islands. Yeah. And, and isn't that exactly what Tate's doing? Mm. So because Tate repeats what they like, they defend him, but they whine about Epstein and people like Epstein all the time. Tate is no different. Tate's no different. He's just changed his grift. He realized he was going to go under, so he changed his plan. He realized there's more money with Hustlers University getting off, like tens of millions from fucking weirdos who think they're going to learn something and somehow better than college, right? So he just changed his grift. He changed his lingo. There's now he's all about male self improvement and all this other stuff. Back in the day, he was loving the fact that he was taking men's lonely men's money. He didn't give a shit. They want to protect kids. They want to protect kids, but they didn't mind going after little teenagers and converting them for their sex operation. Okay, L listen to this. It's like taking the virginity of a really beautiful woman. I get to have this experience, and no one else gets to have it again. It is a little bit better, but the real pleasure is in the fact that. Somebody else would love to have this, and I get it. That's why this is good. That makes sense. I'll give you that. I agree with that. When you are in the true abundance mindset of you can have the pick of the crop, you can have the world's most attractive women. I mean, one of my main chicks has 200,000 Instagram followers, and I took her virginity when she was 17. It's an abundance mindset. Yeah. I have so many girlfriends and so many wonderful girlfriends and so many virgins. She is a Polish. She was a Polish virgin, man, it, it hurt her at every moment that I was <laughs> doing it, but it felt good for me. So who gives a shit? <laughs> so what? They got money laundering on him now, which we told you guys they were going to do. Why? Because this dude admitted to money laundering. Not because I think so. It's in his own shit. Look, he gave he gave a, a class on how to do it. And he and the prime example of how he was doing it was him. Same thing with the other stuff. So, so we did this video a while back. Now I want <laughs> you guys to see this, okay? <laughs> bro, I was just here for the new charges, dog. We got the new charges, bro. We just got another fucking angle to goddamn cut down that giant, bro. I want to see the comments, bro. I'm gonna see the comments, dog. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This be the funnest part. Self snitching. Um, fuck me. I am a. I am a diehard. Rather was a diehard fan of tape brothers for what the values they brought but this sheesh fuck me again i did not expect this and fall into this bullshit trap i have lord have mercy on me i don't care no matter how short form clips we have taken but saying i took the virginity of a 17 to 16 year old on cam and proudly yuck that sucks i am really ashamed of myself to actually fall for the fall for the taste this video is an eye opener sheesh <laughs> andrew tate andrew taint the funniest part is the self snitching 
I this probably this is this has got to be one of the best videos, if not the best video that Alba and Preach have dropped on Tate. And they've been firing Tate ass up for a long time, bro. Andrew Tate gets his first charge by the police. It's because I protect men. Andrew Tate gets charged a second time. Everyone is to blame beside himself. Her. I'm only 16. Andrew Tate. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Ooh, three years ago, this comment section would have been full of Tate Sims defending him. Are we surprised? Mind y'all, there was a few tweets that Andrew posted about how he, how he admired Epstein. Okay, ain't nobody really defending him. Top G stands for groomer. Bro snitching and people will say it's the Matrix trying to get him. Yeah. I want to see, yeah, the Tate Simps opinion on this shit, bro. Because this, this, this argument ain't even compelling. And, bro, it is what it is, bro. Like, the self snitching is crazy. Crazy. But he got motherfuckers so goddamn hypnotized, sucking the tape dick so hard that they are not willing to admit <laughs> to what the fuck they just saw. Now, I ain't see that. I ain't see that. Who the fuck cares? She 15, 16. It is what it is. We want 16-year-old girls, bro. <laughs> like, investigation aside, bro, this shit is wild, dog. God damn.